Bon dia and welcome to Portugal. We are actually on a two week vacation, much awaited for, and we made it two days back, but it's just been so, so crazy. The first day we basically spent it just traveling. We entered through Spain and then we had to catch a connecting flight over to Portugal. And the second day was just so amazing. We actually went over to Porto, which is another city we're staying in Lisbon for the majority of our vacation but we did take a three-hour train over to Porto in order to meet a YouTube friend of mine and now of course real-life friend she has been here from the beginning of like my YouTube videos and she's always commenting we have conversations even outside of YouTube so it was just so nice to be able to go and meet her and her husband they definitely were the best tour guides over in Porto we went to have a really lovely lunch with such a beautiful view of the Dodo River and then we just kind of walked around the city, grabbed coffee. We also took the teleferric up to a super high viewpoint and then had like an amazing view of the city. It was just such a great day. The weather has been really, really nice as well. I was super worried. I mentioned that in the Pack With Me video, but thankfully it's been really nice. It's been kind of like mid 60s. So for us that we live in Miami and never get this kind of nice cool weather has been amazing. So we made it back home last night super, super late. We went to sleep almost at 2 a.m. And today we definitely took advantage and slept in a little bit since we didn't have anything that we needed to get to. However, we are officially ready. We're gonna head out and start exploring Lisbon. All right, so of course we don't have a main travel vlog if we don't include the outfit of the day. And as I mentioned, the weather is actually super nice. So I'm just wearing a three fourths like black sleeve um, shirt underneath. And then I threw over this jean jacket. I'm wearing these leather pants, which I got from Express in the clearance section. So of course, if I can find anything, I'll link it down below. I'm rocking my Superga sneakers, you guys. If you saw my Italy vlogs, you remember the mission that I went with with my sneakers and I ended up buying these like last minute. So hopefully they'll be a better option for this trip altogether. And then I'm taking my Longchamp. This is actually the only bag I packed because I did tell you guys that I wanted to take advantage of the Euro being so low and seeing if we can score any goodies here. And then for accessories, I have my Apple Watch, a Twilly scarf, Ana Luisa necklace and Ana Luisa earrings and that's about it. <laughs> Hi guys, so we are here now at Don Pedro Square. It's just basically a really nice plaza that's in the center of the city. And we had breakfast at this really cute spot. It's called Deer Breakfast. Keep in mind, we went almost at 11 in the morning and there was still a line to get inside. It moves fairly quickly though. I wanna say we were probably in line for like 20, 25 minutes. And the food was absolutely delicious. We had a flat white for our coffee, which was so, so good and very much needed. Then we headed over to just walk down Rua Augusta, which is like Augusta Street. And it's just like a big street with a lot of stores. There's a lot of souvenir shops. There's a lot of just clothing shops, um, pharmacies. And we headed down to Casa de Comercio, which is the main square in Lisbon. And it's one that you see in a lot of pictures and a lot of videos. We hung out there for a little bit. It's gotten really warm, I gotta say. So I already took off my jacket. Thankfully, I didn't bundle up with a scarf because I would have been carrying a lot of things. And then we headed back up Rua Augusta because we're going to reach all the way down Avenida de la Libertad. which is a major shopping avenue and I'm hoping that we can get lucky and find some goodies. So we're gonna keep on walking. We really don't have anything that we must do today. So it's just a pretty chill day and we're gonna wander into the stores and then grab some lunch later on.
Hi guys, and we are back in the room, actually getting ready to head out to dinner after we visited the confe confeiteria nacional, the bakery shop. We just went ahead and walked for a little bit more before heading home. We actually stopped by H&M and Zara. There's a couple of things that I had my eye on on the website, but I've had no luck. However, my husband has been able to find all the good things in the men's section in both H&M and Zara, he's gotten really lucky. However, I had a very successful day in Saint Laurent. I was actually able to pick up two of my wish list items that I did have for this trip. So that unboxing will definitely be coming up soon. So as I said previously, we are getting ready to head out for dinner. We're actually going to Biff Steakhouse. It was actually recommended by my sister-in-law, which she was here earlier this year, and she said it was a really nice restaurant. So we're definitely looking forward to that. All right, so for tonight, I went with something very simple. I do have this shirt dress on. It's very old. I got it from Sheen. If I'm able to find some Something similar I'll link it down below but I did want to go with something that had a little bit of a long sleeve anyways because it does get a little bit cooler at night but as you can tell it's very very simple it has like an a-line silhouette and then just a little tie belt I'm wearing the flats from Old Navy I actually had mentioned these in my Italy vlog and I bought a pair in black and I love them especially for night times when we're going out and for my bag of choice I did turn my toiletry 26 into a bag you guys have seen me do this a ton of times but I do have an insert that I put inside and then it allows me to put the chain in order to carry it on the shoulder I did want to show you because my husband actually needed me to carry his iPad and it does fit inside so it's very snug in there but I was able to fit it inside just to take it in case that he did need it and then put everything else that I did need so it's very minimal essentials a card holder a lipstick and then a little pill box so that's all we have for tonight and then I'll just carry it as a clutch like this and she's very comfortable and good to go Good morning guys, it is officially our second day of exploring here in Lisbon. We are heading over to Belen today. We are actually at the train station in order to catch a train to go to Belen. We just got the one-way ticket because we are going to visit XL factory which is close to Belen and we'll probably Uber there. And then we also have lunch reservations at another spot where we definitely have to get an Uber for. So we'll just probably catch an Uber on our way back home as well. Now this morning we had breakfast at a spot called The Mills and it was really, really yummy. We went for something light for us because we usually are very big breakfast eaters, but we shared an avocado toast and then had um, two chocolate croissants and opted for flat white and I have to say that everything was really really good every spot that I talk about that we're going to eat I'll make sure to leave down below for you guys in case you're planning a trip to visit Lisbon at some point Hi guys, we are walking in a campus now that we wanted to go check out like a little mural of artwork. Hopefully I find it. Rudy is behind me. <laughs> so just wanted to touch base on today. We've actually just wandered around Belen. It's a really cute little side of town. And then we just went to Pastéis de Belen, which is like a bakery shop with some pastries that have been around since 1837 and they are absolutely amazing they were so crunchy and so warm the pastry just has like a very flaky outer layer and then inside it consists of a very thick egg 
custard but it is so so good it's very known or very similar to the um pastéis or pastéis de nata from lisbon but they said that if you are in belen you definitely have to try the one here so there you can see behind me the artwork that i was trying to look for it's basically filled with a ton of different car parts and then you can see a really cute here it's like a little raccoon so we took some pictures and now we're gonna catch an Uber to go to lunch. and we are officially in Sintra. I don't know where I left off the vlog yesterday. I know we went to have lunch at Pig Miao and it was absolutely delicious. The gentleman that was helping us was really nice as well. He was actually Spaniard, so we spoke with him a little bit in Spanish. And then afterwards, we ended up going to LX Factory, which as I mentioned, it's kind of like a little hip side of town. It has a ton of like artwork. We actually sat down at a little coffee shop to rest our feet and then have an iced coffee, which was really, really yummy too. So as I was saying, we did have dinner reservations to go to, but I wasn't feeling too well. I don't know if it was the jet lag or if I was just so tired from all these days that we've been walking so much, but I just wanted to stay in. So Rudy went ahead and grabbed a pizza and like a little pizza shop nearby. And we went back to the room and just really relaxed, which I felt was so needed. This morning, we woke up a little bit more refreshed and then we did have plans to head over to Sintra, which is where we are now. As you can see, there was a little bit of a wardrobe change because we are actually hiking up to the Moorish castle first. Now, I did wanna talk a little bit about Sintra. So what we did was we took the subway all the way from Rocio station over to Sintra. It's about a 40 45 minute ride so super quick you do get the tickets at the train station you can buy them in one of the ticket slots machines or you can go to the window where the representative is at and buy it there so in order to get to the castles in Sintra you can take buses but you can also climb we decided to take a walk because Google said it was 18 minutes it's been probably an hour and 18 minutes and we still haven't made it to the first stop definitely keep that in mind it is a climb you will climb a lot of stairs and it is uphill very very uphill it's been nice because the weather has been sort of decent i did have to take off my jacket because it got a little bit warm at some point and now we're just taking a break so i can finish filming here and then Rudy is just taking in the breeze. So it is definitely a hike to go up to the Moorish Castle. The Pena Castle is even more of a hike. So for that one, I would definitely recommend that you take the bus that is offered to you right outside of the train station. You literally have to walk 50 meters to catch it. So this is the plan for today. We're actually gonna just explore Sintra. We plan on visiting at least three castles. There is about five or six, if I'm not mistaken, but I don't wanna rush through them all. So we just picked kind of the ones that we wanted to see the most. And then that's what we're gonna do.
Hi guys, so as you can see, we are in a totally different setting than where I probably left you off, but I could barely record anything in Sintra. It was really, really windy. I did purchase a mic for my phone, but unfortunately it didn't work out. I promise you guys, I will be investing in a camera with a better microphone, especially for these type of vlogs, so you guys can enjoy them better and so you can hear me when I talk. But we are back in the room. We took a quick shower and we're actually about to head out for dinner. However, I did want to take a few minutes and go over the day with you just to kind of let you know what we did. So as I previously mentioned, we headed out to Sintra today. It is a very popular day trip that people do when you're staying in Lisbon and then as I last left you guys we were climbing up to go visit the Moorish castle which we climbed up but I highly recommend you take the bus that is available for you to go up because the climb is very very long Google said 18 minutes and as I mentioned it turned out to be a lot longer than that we did purchase the tickets ahead of time which I highly recommend as well now once we were done with the Moorish castle we headed over to Quinta da Reca Galera. and we actually went because we wanted to see the initiation well which is really really popular instagram has a ton of beautiful pictures of it but you guys the line was out of control it was so long rudy and i literally looked at each other and we're like there's no way we're making this line we had other things that we wanted to get done throughout the day so we just felt like we were gonna waste way too much time making the line to see the well so once we finished there rudy went ahead and found a nice little lunch spot for us to grab some lunch and it was so delicious i'll make sure to leave all the spots that we went to linked down below i had a mussels I had a scallop risotto which was so so yummy and then Rudy opted for the octopus dish both were once again so delicious and I highly recommend that spot if you do make a day trip over to Sintra once we finished there we went ahead and grabbed obviously a coffee at a cute little spot called the Piriquita and they are most famous for traveseiros which is basically like a pillow type pastry filled with a sort of almond cream oh my god you guys it was so so good listen when we come and travel we love exploring new cities and getting to know the culture but one of the main things that we look forward to is trying all of the local dishes so we make sure to do a ton of research before we head out to a new place in order to enjoy it the best we can then last but not least the last castle that we went ahead and visited was the Pena castle and when you search Sintra on the internet. This is like the main castle that always pops up. It is such a beautiful, colorful castle. There's a ton of pictures all over the internet of this castle, and it kind of looks like something from a fairy tale book. So we went ahead and left it for later on in the afternoon because I had read online that it is less busy. You do have to book online for this one if you want to go inside of the palace. There are specific time slots that you have to follow in order to be able to go inside of the palace. And that's whether you actually want to go inside the actual rooms of the palace or just like the courtyard around the palace. The park, which is something that you can book separate, is kind of like a garden area. It has nothing to do with the actual colorful palace that is up top. But the palace is one that you cannot miss. I highly recommend it. Rudy and I were considering whether or not we wanted to go and check it out because we felt like it was gonna be a little bit overhyped, but it's not. It's very beautiful. It's something that's just so different for you to see. And it is one of the highlights of Sintra. So that is it you guys that has been our day today we headed out early and just got back because we do have reservations at 7 30 at like a little terrace rooftop restaurant i'll go ahead and pick up the camera and take you guys around tomorrow we have plans to maybe go to cascais but that's still a 50 50 so as of now i'll leave you here and i'll catch you guys tomorrow
Good morning guys and today we are actually in Cascais. It is a little sea town village kind of an hour away from Lisbon. So last night we went to dinner as I mentioned and we just kind of hung out, chatted and talked about how our trip had been going and we realized that we had an extra day kind of to spare so we decided to take the trip out here today. We did catch another train sort of like we did for Sintra and it was about an hour away same process the tickets were also five dollars going and coming back so super inexpensive to make it out here and you definitely get a whole different vibe and feel of Portugal this town is a lot more quieter a lot more calm than the busy city center of Lisbon so it's really nice that we got the chance to come out here we're just walking right now along the coast and we're actually walking towards the Hell's Mouth which is a very popular site here and then we're gonna go grab some lunch after that we're probably just gonna grab a coffee and then head back into town to Lisbon so of course I'm bringing you guys along today and just showing you around the beautiful town of Cascais So it turns out Cascais took a turn for the worst. <laughs> we actually had a whole day planned out, but unfortunately it started raining. It caught us while we were having lunch. We stopped at a restaurant called Mar do Inferno. I'm sorry for my pronunciation, I'm trying. And it was really nice, had a beautiful view of the sea and the food was really, really fresh and really good. I opted to get some scallops and Rudy did the same. So when we headed out, we actually wanted to head over and see the Boca do Inferno, which is a rock that is really pretty it has kind of like this open space in between i'll try to insert a picture if i find one but as i said it was just pouring and since we were so close to the sea it was really really cold i was wearing a dress i got soaked you guys it was just not the best way to end our trip to Cascais, but it happens. Unfortunately, we cannot control the weather. Also wanted to share a clip really quick of my Longchamp. And that is one of the reasons why I love traveling with those bags because they're just so, so carefree. As I said, it was pouring and the Longchamp got completely soaked. However, no water penetrated inside of the bag, which was really awesome. So if you can definitely get a Longchamp for travel reasons, I highly recommend them. They have a ton of different styles to choose from and I've done a couple of comparison videos. I'll link them down below in case you're interested, but they're just that like it travel bag for me. So we just opted to walk back to the train station. We caught the train back into Lisbon and we made a stop at Time Out Market. It is one of the top places that you should check out. We try to find little holes in the walls when we want to go out to eat, whether it's to grab a snack or to have breakfast, lunch, or dinner. But we just wanted to stop in to see what it was and what it looked like. And we actually grabbed two coffee macchiatos and then a donut from Crush Donuts so so good very delicious i highly recommend if you stop in there definitely to grab a donut from them and then we just headed back on to the room and on our way back to the room i actually spotted this little cute boutique and if you guys caught my italy vlog you know i love purchasing little things from small boutiques that are just unique and will always remind me of the place i visited so i saw these little hoops they were just so adorable they kind of have like little pearls all throughout and I thought that they were really cute and dainty they're not too too big but not too small either so I opted to get these just as my little souvenir for Lisbon so that's been it for today we do leave tomorrow so what we're gonna do is pack everything have everything ready to go so when we check out we can leave the luggage here in the hotel I'll bring you along in the morning just to share with you a couple of other things that we have planned to see and then for tonight we are heading to dinner so most likely I'll catch you guys then tomorrow morning okay so before we head out i wanted to share with you guys my outfit of the night because i know i've been slacking a little bit on sharing the details with you i went with this blouse it's kind of old
old it's from old navy but it's very lightweight but i also like that it has the long sleeves because it's still a little breezy at night and then i paired it with my leather pants from express the belt is from valentino it is the reversible one and i really like this one because both colors are very neutral and then I am wearing the flats from Old Navy also. They've been super, super comfortable, I gotta say. And I am wearing my Louis Vuitton Toiletry 26 as a bag. I have a ton of videos and I even think a reel in regards to this, which is super comfortable because that way I can carry it on the shoulder and I don't have to carry it as a clutch. And then I opted to wear the new cute earrings that I got that I just shared with you guys earlier today. So that is it for the outfit of the night. We are going to return some things that I had gotten at Zara which didn't work out well and then we're heading out to dinner. we are officially packed and ready to go today is our last day in lisbon we're actually leaving to the airport around four so we still have a good amount of time to explore which is great because there's still a couple of other places that we wanted to visit but most importantly it's someone's birthday <laughs> Today is Rudy's 35th birthday, so we're definitely going out and grabbing a nice breakfast, a nice lunch, and then just walking around and seeing the other spots we're missing. So of course, we're bringing you guys along. I thought I'd do a change of scenery for a moment. However, we are climbing up another set of stairs here in Lisbon. Never ending. So please excuse if I sound out of breath. <laughs> so we had breakfast at this really cute spot called Senneth. They've had um, like eggs benedict, um, salmon toast, avocado toast, all that yumminess. So we opted to go there first for Rudy's birthday. One moment. And then now we are just walking over to the Alfama neighborhood, which is another side of town in Lisbon. And we're actually climbing up because there is a viewpoint to see the St. George Castle. So hopefully that's worth it because the climb is pretty intense. And then we're just gonna walk around that part of neighborhood and then head over to the Chiado area because we are grabbing lunch over there. All right guys, so we've finished stuffing ourselves with pizza for the birthday boy. That's what he enjoys to eat. So of course we went ahead and found a pizza place that we can come to so that he can enjoy lunch before we head over to Spain. We have been walking a ton. There were a few spots that I wanted to check out that seemed to be nice online, but once we made it, they weren't all that. But that's the point of traveling so you get to see the new places or the places that you think look nice and then when you show up it just turns out to be completely different we did go to a viewpoint where you can see like the water and you can see all the little orange roofs of all the houses it's supposed to be really nice but it was so so filled with people so that was interesting just to be there as of now we're gonna go grab a coffee after lunch and we're gonna try the pastel de nata from one of the most famous places here in portugal to the hotel to pick up our luggage and head to the airport we stopped by Manteigaria 
which is where we had the pastéis de nata. They recommended that that was one of the best spots to have it and they did not lie. As of now, we're just resting our feet for a little bit and then we're gonna get our luggage in order to get an Uber and head over to the airport. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. This is part one of hopefully two or three of these travel vlogs. We are heading to Spain today to meet up with my parents and my in-laws. So I'll try to vlog a little bit and show you guys a little bit of Spain, but I probably won't be too hands-on since I definitely want to spend some time with the family. However, I'll make sure to put a lot of stories on Instagram. So if you are not following me there, make sure you go ahead and do so. Also, if you did like the vlog, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you want to come back for some more travel vlogs, talking a little bit about handbag, luxury goods, and some fashion as well. As always, thank you guys so much for taking some time out of your day to watch today. And I hope to catch you all in my next one. Bye everyone.